all for coming out here tonight and supporting these graduates throughout this rigorous program and helping us celebrate. It's great that we get to celebrate in person, <laughs> but we also have some joining us from home, so welcome. Yes. Um, I'm gonna introduce Dr. Holnack. He's the president of the college and he wants to do a welcome. <laughs> Good evening, and I'm awfully delighted to be here with all of you for this special celebration that we're having for our graduates today. I have a curiosity, how many of you, this is the first time you've ever been on the campus of Oklahoma State College? Raise your hand. Wow. Okay, so after this is over, if y'all will meet me by the door, I'll take you down to the admissions office. We can get you admitted and registered and ready for classes that will start in about two weeks. So, um, and we can do that. We've got all kinds of majors and choices, like 174 different choices. You'll have a great time. For our guests, the physical therapy uh, assistance program is a limited access program with very special selection criteria utilized to pick absolutely the most qualified applicants for the program. The program is 74 credit hours uh, long and takes two years or five long, long, long semesters. It offers students the necessary courses to develop skills that employers are looking for by providing hands-on training through academic, laboratory, and clinical practice. And the students gain real-world experience with opportunities to complete three full-time clinical internships with an individual clinical instructor for four weeks, followed by two additional seven-week-long clinical rotations, totaling 18 weeks of on-the-job training, ensuring that they are fully utilize a variety of uh, virtual learning and opportunities to deal with the limited access uh, to some of the clinical sites that we use in the areas that we've used for clinical rotations. However, this didn't stop our graduates and now here we are to celebrate their success for the class of 2022. Our students also stepped up to the challenge as you can see and we have a room full of graduates and I couldn't be more proud of you all. The program is accredited by the Commission on, of Accreditation on Physical Therapy Education, CAPT and prepares students to take the national licensure exam through the Federation of State Boards of Physical Therapy. This is a Jeopardy question for graduates. Um, who do you know that has had uh, two foot surgeries, um, 15 knee surgeries, one with a replacement, one hip surgery that was a replacement, wrists, um, oh, sorry, that's three wrists rebuilt, three shoulders done, uh, and one elbow done? Jeopardy question. That sound familiar? That's my wife and I. Um, that's called job security. You, you guys have picked the perfect, perfect job at the perfect time at the perfect place. And I just want to tell you that, not because I'm falling apart and I'm going to need your help. Um, I may want to interview some of you afterwards just for a personal physical therapy assistant because, uh, and I want to um, commend our instructor here because he, um, uh, I had to have my shoulder rebuilt, um, one of those three shoulder surgeries, and uh, it was a mess, and things disconnected and rebuilt and all kinds of weird stuff, and um, he provided the direction for my physical therapy. Actually, I went to him the first time to, um, to see if he could use diagnostic anywhere, anywhere in the world that have been through two major, major earth shattering um, natural disasters. And here you are finishing up your education, having, um, I won't say sailed right through them because I know how hard you all worked, but um, uh, it is a credit to your tenacity and to your abilities and your um, support from your families, quite frankly, that allowed you to get here. Um, I wish you 
on your luck for the national licensure exams. I'm confident that you'll do very well and go on to lead successful careers in this field. And I would like ask you to do um, one thing. If you would, graduates, would you stand up? It's one of my favorite things to do. Would you turn around and make eye contact with your family or supporters that are here? And if you don't have anybody that you brought, just look at the guy with the camera and he'll wave back and <laughs> smile at you. So graduates, these folks that are here, they um, babysat, they fed you, they covered for work. Um, they held your hand when you were very frustrated. They let you bend things in ways that should have not been bent if they weren't already hurt. Um, if not for them, many of you would not be here today. And so I would like you to use the opportunity while you're standing to give a rousing round of applause for the standing ovation you're gonna give them for their support. Graduates. <laughs> These are the people that fed you and babysat your children and um, some of them brought you into life. Let's give them a rousing <laughs> round of applause. Come on, one more time. <laughs> right, there we go. All right, y'all can sit back down. I'd like to congratulate you on um, this special day. It's uh, what all the faculty and staff here call payday, where the hard work of the students, with a little bit of help from faculty and staff, all brings you together to the point where you're talking not about what the test is tomorrow, but what the opportunities are for you. And I'll leave you with one last admonition, because after today, you're graduates, and you're out, either you have a job or you're gonna get a job shortly. Um, I'm absolutely sure of it, and if not, come see him, and he'll take care of it. Um, but uh, my brother, uh, when I graduated for one of my degrees, um, patted me on the back because he's uh, several years older than I am. In fact, he's one of your ideal candidates as well. And uh, he said, um, uh, you think you did pretty good, and congratulations on that. And I said, I do feel pretty good about that. And he goes, now just remember the final exams are every day instead of once a semester. And I went, okay. Um, if I didn't mention before why this is such a great time for you to have this job, we have um, a, a major hospital coming in the area, and it's going to be up Highway 79, and it's going to be right in the middle of a community that St. Joe is building that is going to be targeted towards people who are 55 years or older. Just think about that demographic. And they're building, they have permits to build 170,000 houses. So you just think how many people are going to need your services over the next few years. It's like permanent job security in Northwest Florida. Congratulations. <laughs>
your name. And the first person we have is Mr. Adam Paget. He's the assistant coordinator of the program and the academic coordinator of clinical education. Um, and then we have Ms. Rebecca Acton. She's uh, our administrative assistant. We have Ms. Laura Justice. She's our Division Chair of Health Sciences. We have Dr. Kelly Walsingham. She's the Dean of Student Life. And she's an adjunct instructor, but she used to be a core instructor. So for half of the program, she was their, one of their main instructors. And she continued on as Dean of Student Life. I know she had an open door, and a lot of the students used her as a resource and came and talked to her. And you know, she's definitely encouraging. So thank you, Kelly. Um, and then we have Dr. Holly Keener. She's the Vice President of Academic Affairs, and she also served as an instructor for the program in the spring semester. So thank you, Holly. And then we have um, Dr. Brenda Clements. She's an adjunct instructor. She's also a clinical instructor, and she is an advisory board member. So thank you for helping our program. Then we have uh, Mr. James Cutchin. He's an adjunct instructor for the program. He's also a clinical And I think that's all we have for instructors. Am I missing anybody? Yeah. And then we have our clinical instructors as well. So I'm going to ask if you would stand if you are a clinical instructor. I think I saw Amara Paget and Ira Black. <laughs> Thank you all very much. All right. Um, and now we're going to move on to the awards, and Adam Paget's going to present those. So, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Adam. <laughs> I was actually bragging to Melinda. I was like, you know, I took public speaking like in college forever ago. You don't write speeches, you know. And then she starts talking about, oh gosh, you always write your speeches. And I was thinking, oh, I'll write a few notes. And then I show up, I have like 17 bosses here right now. I could legitimately get fired in like 14 different ways. So <laughs> thank God I came prepared and wrote a few things. Um, backup plans. I'd like to start, um, obviously, with a few words of my own, uh, thanking everyone um, from you know, the top down, Dr. Holdenack, Melinda, Holly, Kelly, Laura, everybody for taking a chance on a clinician that, you know, I don't want to tell them, probably don't deserve to be here, but I'm happy to be here. Um, and uh, it's been awesome. Um, I'm, I'm so blessed, I'm so thankful to be here. and. Uh, to have, have this opportunity to get to know you and to teach all of you. Um, my wife, my, I have a little girl, she's three years old. I thank them for, you know, not having a husband. Well, maybe that should be thanking all of y'all for not having a husband around as much some days, but, um, <laughs> but you know, daddy's not always home. Um, and so my wife picks up a lot of the slack and that, that kind of goes underappreciated as well. Um, but anyways, this is my first pinning, other than my own 10 years ago. Uh, it's a little different being on this side of the microphone for sure, but um, it's still still exciting, you know. And and, uh, and so this is something that I'm gonna remember forever. Um, you know, it, when I was sitting in your chair, I was really just thanking Linda and Kelly and Holly for passing me, <laughs> making sure they didn't make a mistake. <laughs> but then I went, <laughs> but then I went on to work locally for the next nine years in an orthopedic clinic and it's, it's been a blessing. I, I've met a lot of awesome patients, some, uh, some more painful than others, uh, um, but every single one of them I loved and, and, it, and it, you, know, you, you, you learn from that experience and um, that was something that when I came into this, that transition is what you know, I was really hoping for. Transition is always hard, right? No one knows it more than these students here as, as you've heard, they've transitioned from 
learning on Zoom with, through COVID, through uh, multiple adjuncts, you know, a new face, it seems like probably every, uh, every other day. Um, and, uh, but anyways, and, and finally with me, you know, is, uh, just one more transition, a transition that we both had to go through. Um, and you know, at the entire time, most people would be bitter, would be frustrated, and not one single time has any of these, uh, these individuals ever bitter or frustrated towards me. They've always treated me with love and respect, and I can't explain like, what, that, what that does for, for someone like, like me, coming from an outpatient clinic, I'm leaving my best friend, and come here, and you know, I'm, I'm making new family, I'm making new friends. And so, um, while I always said that I enjoyed coming here, talking to y'all, uh, hanging out, and I guess it's not really hanging out if y'all are required to be here, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, the, the process of teaching you, um, you know, just bringing my little, my little twist, my little curve to it on how I've experienced things and, and your willingness to accept me and, and to learn. Um, words can't express how thankful I am to every single one of you. And, uh, and so, yeah, so thank you. Thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. I always do everything I can for every single one of you as either a, a friend, an instructor, a mentor, whatever you want to call me, as long as it's not a bad word. And, uh, and, and I want you to know that. So to conclude this little speech here, um, I want to give you all some advice that I had given to me once. I know it's hard to believe those who know me. I'm a little competitive. All right. When I got out of school, I wanted to be, and some of you have already heard the story, I wanted the place I worked at. I wanted to be the best, right? I want to be the best clinic ever, the best therapist ever, right? And you just usually be like, man, I'm going to be as good as James Cutchins. That was the guy when I was in school. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm not even kidding. He really was. He was the guy. And uh, anyways, this, uh, my boss, my PT, told me, he said, there are PTs and PTAs that are very smart and talented. Your knowledge of a diagnosis, interventions, and ability to progress towards function will take you very far. However, it's our ability to connect with the patient that separates the good clinician from the amazing clinician. Every single one of you are amazing clinicians. Every single one, all right? You're gonna change people's lives. You've changed my life. You're gonna change your patient's lives, all right? You will be amazing clinical instructors because I will call you. <laughs> I've already called some. But in a year, I'll be calling, and it's not because I need somebody to check that box. It's because I know you personally. I know your knowledge, I know your heart, and I know that you're gonna do an amazing job. So, I love you all, I'm very happy for you all, and congratulations. So now, let's do some awards. I've had some last minute changes. Somebody glared at me when they came in, so I'm gonna just kind of pencil somebody in. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. We're gonna start with the Outstanding Physical Therapist Assistant Student Award. So the purpose of this award is to recognize a Gulf Coast State College Physical Therapist Assistant student who demonstrated excellence in both academic and clinical studies, who has been an exemplary role model for physical therapy in the college. So the criteria to win this award, you must maintain a GPA of 3.0 through the course of study, demonstrated clinical excellence in a variety of settings, and represented the PTA program in the college with the highest standard of personal and professional behavior. This award goes to, drum roll, drum roll, Corey Benson. Corey's been a stud from the very beginning, so I'm pretty sure I saw some of his classmates be like, okay, next one. <laughs> the next award, um, it's a pretty special award, as well, uh, they're all special, but this is a special award and that, because you're, you're, this is voted on amongst their peers, um, among, amongst their peers in the program. So it's called the Physical Therapist Assistant Spirit Award. 
This recognizes the Gulf Coast State College physical therapist assistant student who has demonstrated leadership and who has actively organized and or planned activities which stimulated cohesiveness and camaraderie around, around the physical therapist assistant student group as a whole. This is awards going to Lily Wynn. Last but not least, the Clinical Excellence Award. So, I got to choose this one. This was a hard, this was hard. And I didn't know this job was supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be an easy job, guys. So, yeah, no, no one, I mean, the people who told me that actually didn't work here, so I guess I gotta. <laughs> but this is, um, this, this is an award that I took into consideration when, when picking, because honestly, and I know like everyone says this, but there is multiple people that qualify for like you could ask Rebecca was like, yo, dude, if I'm gonna print this, you're gonna need to tell me like <laughs> who, who won the award. Um, <laughs> I'm calling Kelly, like, hey, in the past, how did you choose who won the award? <laughs> you flipped a quarter? No, I was kidding. <laughs> but um, so I took in a lot of things. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the grading system we use, uh, the scoring system. It's pretty uh, in-depth um, grading where they, they go into detail about what the student's able to do or where they, or where they need to improve, et cetera. Um, the, the things that I've, I've heard from clinicians in the, in, the, in the all three rotations, but especially the last two, um, range from uh, emails from clinicians talking about how patients are pulling them aside tell them how amazing the, this, this student PTA is. Are you gonna hire this student PTA? I mean, that's a huge thing for a patient to say, um, as well as texts and many phone calls from therapists saying, listen, if this guy applies uh, anywhere, I want, I'll be a reference. You know, and that, that's, an amazing, that's an amazing thing for someone to just go out of the way to tell me. So the award for clinical excellence uh, and the purpose is to uh, recognize a physical therapist assistant student for clinical practice skills. The criteria to be eligible for the award the student must have demonstrated clinical excellence in a variety of clinical settings as evidenced by outstanding feedback from all clinical instructors. Exhibited mature disciplinary teamwork and problem solving for patient care. Demonstrated consistency of commitment to the practice of the physical therapy profession in both time and effort and represented the PTA program in the college with the highest standards of personal and professional behavior. This award goes to Dawson Gregory. And Adam and I will read the speeches. Adam wants to read them all, <laughs> but we're going to share them. Um, and as we call your name, the, uh, you'll come forward, and the person that you've selected to pin you come forward at the same time. We'll read the speech while you're being pinned. Good? OK. So, first up, Corey Benson. He's being pinned by his wife, Caroline Benson. Well, guys, we made it. I first want to thank my wife for all of her love and support for me. I know it's been a long two years, but you're so appreciated, and, you're a help, and you have helped me grow into a great future therapist. And thank you for helping me learn the muscles, even though you never pronounce them correctly. <laughs> thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving me somewhere to live during my last clinical so I can get a great experience. Thank you to Melinda, Adam, Kelly, Holly, Brenda, Lance, and all of our teachers for preparing us to be the best therapists we can be. Even though you challenge us during our practicals, I know that the education that you gave us will make the 12 of us amazing therapists. Speaking of our class, I want to, I want to end with a thank you to all of my classmates. 
We spend so much time studying, practicing, crying, Ryan, and laughing together. And I couldn't have done it without you all. I'm really looking forward to seeing, seeing what you all accomplish in the future. Okay, next we have Larissa Kumi Diaz being pinned by her husband, Pablo Diaz. I want to start by saying thank you to our amazing teachers, Melinda and Adam, for coming through for us during our time in the PTA program. Your high standards and support made our time in the program both challenging and incredibly regarding. To my classmates, congratulations. I'm so proud of you all today. All our hard work paid off. We survived the PTA program. We had a roller coaster ride in the program from Zoom classes and distance learning, mask wearing, week long quarantine, late start at clinics due to bad weather, and countless assignments, tests, practicals, quizzes, group projects, presentations, countless deadlines that gave some of us a few meltdowns here and there. Oh, and how to forget about the late classes on Thursdays during spring and fall that made most of my classmates want to grab a Starbucks coffee to survive the day. The PTA program was definitely stressful to say the least, but it's so rewarding to be standing here today. Thank you, Melinda and Adam, for preparing us for the real world, for your enthusiasm, energy, and passion when teaching. Thank you for giving up treating patients every day and choosing us instead. We are officially PTA graduates now, thanks to you. I will always be thankful for both of you. I cannot forget, of course, about those who rode with us, those who we love, those who we care about, those who went on this crazy journey with us. In my case, I'd like to thank Darlene for motivating me to go back to school, Dennis, who is like a second father to, uh, to husband who we both love so much, to me and my husband who we both love so much, Laura, who has been one of my biggest supporters throughout the past years, and of course, my beloved husband, who is there for me every day. He stayed up countless, countless nights keeping me company while I studied. He was so patient and helped me go over all my notes during every semester. I'm sure he knows the origin, insertion, nerve, and action of a lot of muscles by now. I want to thank him for packing my lunch many times and for the love notes I found between my sandwiches for providing so I could focus on school, for encouraging me to keep going, and for supporting me all this time. I could have never been able to do it without him. And to my special friends and family who are here today celebrating this day, thank you. All right, Stephanie Curry, AKA Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's being pinned by Mercy Pettis. And fun fact, the baby, you're her babysitter? Where is no, this baby sister? No, baby sister. Baby sister, oh. <laughs> See, I was like, a babysitter? Wow, she's young. All right. Tonight my words are few, but my heart is endlessly full, full of gratitude and thankfulness for all the beautiful souls I have been able to share the last 619 days of life with. Our journey has been filled with every emotion possible. I believe laughter and anxiety are a tie for first place. This journey came with, with many obstacles, but we stuck together and overcame them. Many, many will say today starts our journey. I disagree. The journey began a long time ago. Today just happens to be the day where the path we have been traveling splits on 12 unique roads. As much as I have looked forward to this day, I dislike endings. The last day of summer, the ending of a good book. Just kidding, I hate reading. <laughs> but endings are inevitable. Leaves fall, you close the book. Better yet, never open one. Yes, Melinda, I read every chapter. And in all, seri in all seriousness, thank you to my family, my friends, my classmates, and our instructors. We could not be who we are today without each and every one of you. Melinda, thank you. Adam, thank you. Everyone here today, you have impacted lives. You have encouraged and supported and for, and for that I say, thank you. We are truly blessed in this moment. To my classmates, thank you. Congratulations, PTA class of 2022, we made it. Next, we have Carrie Eisenzimmer being pinned by her boyfriend, Tyrell Mitchell. Class of 2022, 
We finally come to the end of our long but oh so quick journey. We took that first step together on our first day of class, not knowing what we all got ourselves into. We've had, we've all had sleepless nights of and we spent countless hours during our long days together. I thank and appreciate every single one of you. I want to thank Melinda and Adam for dealing with our stress, being our friend, and instructing us through such a big achievement in life. I also want to thank my boyfriend, Ty, for being my guinea pig while practicing for practicals, trying to pronounce all the muscle origins and insertions while quizzing me, and for understanding the time I needed to put into studying. Congratulations to my classmates. I'm proud of all of you. Aww. Dawson Gregory, Linda Cumba, not his babysitter. <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone in this room, parents, siblings, and spouses, for helping all of us achieve today. That program, you all, you, are all, you all were the fans that cheered us on when the light seemed nearly impossible to reach. Yet here we are, at the end of the You all have shared support. Last but not least, I would like to personally thank Melinda Cumba, Adam Padgett, Kelly Walsingham, and all other adjuncts and clinical instructors here today for being the role models we look so high up to. We literally could not have done it without you. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. Next, we have Rayanne Jarrell being pinned by Christian Jarrell. Throughout my time in the PTA program, I have discovered a love and awe that comes with all things related to the human body. Allowing us to learn and grow as healthcare providers in the best way, and I don't know how I will ever be able to thank them. I have also been blessed to be surrounded by incredible classmates who I will be able to call friends from here on out. We have experienced many sleepless nights, tears, and laughs to get us through those test and practical packed weeks. I couldn't have made it here today without my husband Christian by my side, allowing me to read him my flashcards, rant about the absurdity of biomechanics, and shed many tears when I was overwhelmed with how much there was to study. Thank you to everyone here who played a part in me being here today. Sandra Lee Kent, pinned by her fiance, Blaine Bennett. When I look back over the years of my life, there is something remarkably special in every part of it. It is evident that every step God has led me closer and closer to this exact moment. It is by no chance that I'm standing here today, but only by God's divine plan. This has been my life. I have made such wonderful lifelong friends. I have received so much support from all my loved ones. I have experienced so many opportunities to grow and to truly find my purpose. I thank God for opening doors for me that I couldn't open on my own. I thank my wonderful fiance for encouraging me to be the best that I can be and for reassuring me during the difficult times. I thank my parents, soon to be in-laws, and the rest of my family and friends for all their love and support. I thank each and every one of my classmates for the impact that they have had on my life and for walking through this journey together. PTA program class of 2022, I will miss each, I will miss each of you more than you know. I thank my wonderful instructors for teaching me everything I need to know as a PTA, for being patient with me, for guiding me in order for, for guide, and for guiding me in order for me to be successful. I thank everyone that has played a role in my journey of becoming a PTA. This journey has by no means been easy, but has been exciting. I look forward to my career in the field of physical therapy and could not be more honored. Next, we have Cheyenne Kyle being pinned by Jade Coveney. Good afternoon, everyone. 
I just wanted to start off by saying thank you. Thanks to all my friends and family for coming out of their way to be here this afternoon to support me. I wouldn't be here today without all of your love and support. Hey mom, you can finally breathe. I've made it. I will never forget the first semester of PTA school. I sat on the living room floor with my skeleton and had my mom quiz me multiple times until I didn't get it wrong, till I didn't get one wrong. Not only would she quiz me, but she would remind me of how great I was doing, no matter how many breakdowns I had throughout the spring semester. I'm sure all of my classmates would agree. So thank you. I will never forget the support you often provided me with. with. Dad, I would not have been able to make it this far without your help as well. You often provided for me to ensure that I was able to do my very best without any worries. I'll never be able to repay you, and I was very blessed to have your support as well. Jade, I chose you to pin me because you have been there since the very beginning of school, even back to our therapy technician jobs at Encompass. And there was never a time, whether it was morning or late at night, that you weren't just a text or call away, and for forever keeping me sane throughout this journey. Also, a special thank you to all my amazing teachers, clinical instructors, and classmates. You have helped you have each helped me grow as a person and therapist in so many different ways, I can't thank you enough. Special th a special thank you to Ms. Melinda for always going above and beyond to make sure that each of, of us was striving to be the best in every class. And I will say, I will miss your acting skills in lab. <laughs> <laughs> you are the most understanding professor and it's so obvious for your love for this profession. Even if we do have to argue with Adam every now and then, that neuro can be fun. <laughs> Kidding, Adam. You know we love ortho just as much. Adam, thank you, thank you as well for stepping up to the plate and taking on our class as your first class. You have gone up above and beyond to make sure that you have prepared each of us for our clinicals, even if you did hound me on the lower extremity ortho practical so much that the freshman told you to be nice to me on the shoulder practical. You are only making me a better therapist, and I will never forget that, and can't thank you enough. With that being said to my class, the time is finally here. We have made it. Troy Lambert, pinned by his girlfriend, Kathleen Carey. I would like to first thank everyone who has helped me, who has been by my side this entire journey. YouTube. Google, just kidding. <laughs> I thank God and my family for not only monetary support, but also emotionally. To my classmates, I love you all. We did it. Because <laughs> <laughs> right, it's too short, I get to go twice. Yeah. <laughs> Next is Elizabeth Maddox, pinned by Melinda Kumba. We finally made it. I'd like to thank all the people who have helped me get to the end of our two-year journey together. First of all, I would like to thank my family for seeing the potential in me and encouraging me to pursue this career. Also, my, cr my clinical instructors and all the other teachers and clinical staff that have been a part of this program in my rotations. Most importantly, I have to thank Melinda and Adam. You both are so very encouraging, and you helped us along the way to be the best future therapists. Melinda, your compassion and your heart for this career and us is shown daily. The amount of effort you put in this program is astounding. You made it so clear we are always your top priority. Adam, your passion for ortho and all things clinical helped me start thinking more practically. I hope we made you feel like you're not just a new guy. We'll always be your first graduating class. Finally, I'd like to thank and congratulate my classmates on our graduation. Thank you for always being supportive and helpful. We've had each other's backs throughout, and even though some of you are going to be moving to other areas, I hope you continue to stay like a little family. We did it.
throughout this program. I'm so grateful to be a part of a class that is so positive and always willing to build each other up. I want to thank my parents for being here today and for always giving me encouragement to keep pursuing my dreams. I want to thank my husband, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. He never doubted me even when I doubted myself. And lastly, I want to thank Melinda, Adam, and Kelly for caring so deeply and always going the extra mile to make sure we could become the best therapists they knew we could become. I can say for certain this was the hardest thing I have ever done. I'm proud of this accomplishment and opportunity to have a career where I will be able to touch so many lives and that they will do the same for me. Oh. Yeah. Lily Wynn, pinned by her boyfriend, Nick Murphy. Congratulations to us. I cannot express how proud I am of my class. This is a journey I will always cherish. We went through from taking our first practical on Zoom to completing our final clinical rotations as entry level to this moment here getting pinned. One last step. significant others and everyone's as well as my own family. Never enough thank you to Melinda as she has always made sure that we will be successful. A well-rounded physical therapist assistant and although Adam became a part of our journey near the end of our program, he has become such an influential mentor for us all, for us all and for that I'm thankful. I truly will miss you all in the community and the community here in Panama City. I always have a spot in my heart, but I'm packing my bags and heading back to New Orleans. Lily also states that she has written every classmate a letter that she would like to hand out. All right, everyone, this concludes our pending ceremony. The students have. Oh, this does not conclude our. Keep it's going. okay. Keep rolling. If Sandra Lee and Lily would join us at the me at the podium, you guys can go over there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so do you want me to read this question? Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. So the first award will be for Adam. So this certificate goes to Adam Pageant for not only surviving his first year teaching but exceeding expectations by oh drinking <laughs> white monsters, having his kinesio tape scissors in hand, which now he will always have scissors, <laughs> and exemplifying his love for orthopedics as the ACCE for 2022 PTA class. <laughs> so our next certificate is to Melinda Cumba for her outstanding nurturing characteristics, dedication, and love toward pediatric care, as well as her exquisite actress skills during NeuroLab as she led the 2020-22 PTA class to success. I really needed that scissor thing. <laughs> if you stay for another hour, I'll tell you the story. No. But once again, this does conclude our, our pinning ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for coming. The students have prepared a slideshow to share with their, uh, from their time in the program. We also have cake and refreshments um, over there on the side uh, in order to help celebrate our new graduates as well. Thank you.